Today we're gonna speak about a feedback that is not uncommon in an MBB or prestigious consulting company's uh, context <clears throat> and that is usually being perceived as the reason for being rejected and often and widely misunderstood. So that is you are or you were over prepared. So let's speak a little bit of what this actually means. Um, because in most, if not 99% of uh, the cases, this feedback actually means that the candidate was acting in a non-contextual, um, if not robotic way during the interview. In the most cases, this is because the, the candidates try to remember what they have done in the past rather than being open to the nuances and to the specific client situation they are in. And this behavior is frequently a direct result of the common preparation steps used by candidate, the candidates that are, that are usually going along the lines of um, step one, reading two to three books of the pertinent literature that are recommended by random people or online platforms or other sources. Then step two, they are reading through this literature and starting to download case books and work on the, the questions provided in these and then learn a couple of frameworks in order to approach these questions as it is shown in the solutions. Then step three, after they've done this and in into 20 to 30 cases, they um, believe they have become good at this and they start to look out for people they can peer practice with to get ready for the interviews, right? And both candidates are then reinforcing um, the, the feedback based on what they believe is, is tested and often based on what they have understood from the pertinent literature, right? And then there is step four, um, even more practice usually um, and, and using also the feedback from the peer practicing sessions and uh, then using the, the textbook solutions of the literature they, they have used. And um, yeah, then they go to the interviews and in the end they might have, might have done 50, 60, 70 cases um, on their own and in collaboration with others. And they believe they perform exceptionally well with regards to all questions their framework cover. And sometimes it's to the point where it appears, and sometimes they even, the candidates, they even believe it, that they already have an idea of a framework they will apply uh, and finding or having a good idea of the three most common issues for that client and most likely already have a good understanding of the answer even before the interviewer has finished the case prompt and gave them the full context. And in the vast majority of cases, this is what your interviewer means if he or she is telling you that you seem to be overprepared, right? It's not that you are too good. Rather, you have become exceptional at something that is not even tested. You have become exceptional at something that is not even tested, right? And then they, uh, we, we are getting a lot of um, uh, asks uh, and, and speak to people and they say, I have spent so much, uh, so many hours, I've done so uh, much work, I've um, solved 100 cases. And then, yes, I mean, you might have put in the hours, you might have put in the work, but in the end, only the result is counting, right? And if you're preparing the wrong things, how can you expect to be successful? Nobody cares about your memorized information, right? Do you truly believe that clients are, are willing to pay thousands of dollars per day for consultants with a track record of exceptional memorization, right? They don't. You are being evaluated on your ability to systematically and rigorously solve a client's problem in a logical way and sound manner. And let me exaggerate a bit maybe here to bring my point across. So no interviewer, no interviewer likes candidates um, who believe they have an answer without even having understood the problem the client is facing in its nuances. 
And then instead of um, yeah, asking and being open to understand these nuances, the candidates then use their intellectual capacity to think about matching patterns from cases they have done in their past and try to then force fit these patterns they can remember into the actual context of the client's problem. So if you get the feedback that you have been overprepared, most likely it's due to the fact that you have prepared intensely and you put a lot of work into this and a lot of hours, but you have prepared the wrong thing. So what is not being tested, to be clear here, is how good you are at learning things by heart, how good you are memorizing frameworks, how good you remember the cases you have done in the past, right? What you are being tested on is your ability to be nuanced and very concrete, to be flexible to the context and really understand the concrete situation the client is in, right? And then if you're able to show also the maturity and the rigor to solve that problem for the client in a systematic and repeatable way. So there is absolutely no need to prepare less for you next time, but there is an absolute need for you to prepare differently. So think about this.